Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is the first charity shop haul of 2024. I went to a um, bunch of charity shops last week, but I didn't buy anything. Uh, nothing there really caught my fancy. But I went today and picked up a few bits. Uh, not a lot, but um, some cool things. So I wanted to show them off. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, fiction books that I got from an author that I've never actually heard of before. Um, I've got two books by this author. Margaret Bingley, Village of Satan. This is proof that a book cover can be objectively terrible and also awesome at the same time. I really like that cover. Um, it's shit, but I like it. Uh, this is, um, like I said, I, I, I've never heard of the author before, but it is some kind of, um, horror thing. Uh, it says the village of South Willoughby was silent as the grave when Catherine talks and her young daughter Jasmine arrived for a short visit. Catherine's mother had been taken ill and she and Jasmine had come to look after her. Jasmine soon made friends with Luke, the strange little boy next door. Luke's favourite playground was the local graveyard where his mother Tara was buried. It wasn't long before he was introducing Jasmine to another world, a world through which she could travel in her mind, a world where unknown and unexpected people were making friends with her. And all this was happening whenever she and Luke visited the graveyard. Gradually, Catherine noticed that Jasmine was changing, being taken over by another Jasmine, by another Jasmine. A girl whom she didn't love and who wasn't really her daughter. So, maybe like a changeling kind of thing. Um, don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I, I like I say, I, I love that awful cover. It's, it's, it's just cool. Um, the second one by Margaret Bingley. Um, this this is actually a good cover um again i do like that i don't like it as much as the bad one but um still that that is that is still pretty cool um again by margaret bingley uh it says the boys were already heading for the entrance and several people turned to look at them as they walked past they all stood very straight and their distinctive colouring and striking similarity to each other made them impossible to overlook. Yet despite her pride in their appearance, her pride in their appearance? Uh, Judith felt uncomfortable. There was something abnormal in such neatness. Indeed, their impeccable behaviour was quite extraordinary for four young boys. When Judith Shaw's mother died, she realised she was all alone in the world. It seemed a good idea to approach a marriage bureau in the hope that she might meet a suitable partner. And Mark Farino turned out to be an exceptionally handsome and charming man. Judith couldn't help falling in love with him. Even the fact that she would become a stepmother to five children didn't deter her. But it wasn't long after their wedding that she realised she had made a terrible mistake, that she had married into a house of evil. Mark and his sons just laughed. For by then they knew it was much too late. Judith was already doomed. Okay, that 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 sounds interesting. Um, I thought it was odd that she would have pride in some random boy's appearance, but apparently they're her stepchildren. So, yeah, that that makes sense. Um, like I said, never heard of the author, but they both sound pretty interesting. So. Um, Nice additions to the collections there, and both both in hardback as well, which is always good. Um, next up, I have two non-fiction books. I have Most Bizarre, The World's Most Haunted Places, from the secret files of ghostvillage.com. Um, I'm not going to read out all of that on the back, but if you would like to take a look, it is, I, I, I've got dozens of these kind of books and uh, I always pick them up when I see them uh, because it's just interesting reading about like different haunted places and obviously there's going to be a lot of overlap with those kind of books uh, but 
you know, they, they, there's always going to be kind of like exclusive stuff that's in each book and talking about places that you might not have heard of before. So, yeah, that's a nice little addition there. And the last book I have is The Ghost Handbook by John and Anne Spencer. Now, John and Anne Spencer um, wrote a book called The Encyclopedia of Ghosts and Spirits which is probably the first ghost book that I ever got. I've, I've had it since I was a kid, still got it. Uh, it's a lovely book, read it a lot when I was a kid. Um, just like a similar kind of thing, just talking about a lot of, li a lot of different like haunted places. Um, and this is similar kind of thing. Um, I guess it's just kind of like, um, an update or uh, like additional stuff. Um, there aren't actually any ghost photos in here. Um, it's just location photos, uh, which are in that direction. So just location photos of different places. Although there are actually other photos at the start of the book, are they ghost photos? No, again, just location pictures and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I, I didn't. I, I didn't know that they had done like another book. So again, if you want to read the back, um, so I was like quite happy to find this because I I really enjoyed their last book, and I've been enjoying their last book for about thirty five years. So yeah, definitely happy with that. And the last two are both CDs. Um, so we have Radiohead, The Bends, uh, really solid album. Um, I'm a big Radiohead fan, um, and I have all of their albums on vinyl, but I don't have that many on CD. Um, I say I have all their albums on vinyl. I don't have Pablo Honey because I don't particularly like that album, but, um, I have all the, all their other albums on vinyl. Uh, but I don't have the bends on CD. Um, and I also don't have Hail to the Thief on CD. Uh, and this is a special edition, which I didn't know existed. And this is, this is a bit weird because it like folds out. So you've got that, that opens out there. So you've got uh, track listing CDs in there. And then this top bit kind of opens out. Um, you, like you've got a lyric book there uh, with all the lyrics in, but you seem to have like a poster which folds out. I've not actually opened this out yet, but yeah, it's difficult to open out. How do I do this? Right. So it looks like it's probably just uh, the album cover. Um, yes, it is. Might not be able to get that all in frame. What is that stuff on the bottom? I don't know, just some random random stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's quite interesting. Uh, it is going to be difficult to fit it on a shelf uh, because it's a weird size. And now I can't fold this back up. I'll do that later. Um, so yeah, yeah, that is, uh, that's two Radiohead albums that I didn't have on CD. So now I do. And that is everything that I got in my charity shop haul this morning. Like I said, not a particularly big one, but um, still some, some real nice stuff that I'm really happy with there. So that is it for this video. Uh, there are other charity shop hauls on my channel if you would like to look at them. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be many more to come. So if you want to check them out, please uh, like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.